kitchen and tonight we will be making some pork chops. These meals are brought to you by my kitchen and these meals were inspired by starvation. And before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. This will be the first step. First step in all meals is washing hands. Some of these pork chops right here. I actually already opened them. These pork chops come in an eight pack at Wegmans. They were seven dollars and sixty cents. So um, let's go ahead and open these up. All right. I just cut the packet in half. Um, you know, I don't like to eat that much. Mm -hmm. Seven bucks. I plan on I plan this meal to last probably about. Three days, so gotta keep it cold. You know, keep washing your hands. Alright, so always wanna have a good knife. What I like to do is cut the fat off of these things. Second thing I like to do with this meat is cut it in half. I feel like when you cut it in half, it cooks a lot faster and easier. It's a lot easier to mm -hmm. manage and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> college kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I like to use a smokehouse maple. You can get these little grow mates also at Wegmans. They're like $3. Smokehouse maple is my favorite flavor, and this cowboy rub, I've been trying it out lately and I've actually liked it a lot, so. Alright, um, what I like to do is just, you know, put a piece of meat down. Add the seasoning. Yep, just sprinkle it right over. And get to both sides. when you're cooking, you go in with a plan, you know, just try to think it out before you start so you're not looking so, for things having run. I'm going to use another plate, and I'm going to start on this cowboy rub. This cowboy rub stuff right here. It's probably in the same aisle as you can find, it's in the same aisle as Smokehouse Maple, but, um, you know, different flavor. I've only been trying it out for a few weeks, and I actually really like uh -huh. it, so, um, you know, it's all good. I think the difference between a rub and something like this, the grill mate here is um, rubs are mainly for steaks. Steaks and pork and stuff, you know, you, you actually have to rub them in, that's why they call them the rub and stuff. But, uh, yeah, like I said before, these meals were inspired by starvation <laughs> and being broke. You got your regular pies. I think my parents got these for me my sophomore year. I'm a senior now and I've been using it ever since. You know, 20 bucks at Walmart. I can show you how to turn these things on, but I'm sure you can find another YouTube video somewhere else, you know. Alright, so I'm just going to use some corn oil. Turn your fan on. Light, fan. Doesn't have to be on high or whatever. You know, whatever setting you have. Turn on, turn on the fan if you want to suck up all the smoke and stuff. Have yourself a good pair of tongs. Yeah, that's all you need. Not that much oil. Oil up that meat. Set your stove to medium. You don't want to go too high. You know, you'll have grease and stuff flying up all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, stay this. So. Alright, so if you just lay that down. You know, I think this is, this is a cowboy rub that I'm cooking here. So. Looks good. Got the tongs ready. Going back to the oil, a lot of times too, I like to put the oil on the meat before I before I season and everything. Yeah. Again, it's all preference, but like you can do whatever. Sometimes I do it like this, other times I do it the other way. 
And when you're cooking, don't be afraid to move things around and stuff. You know, you gotta take command. Take command of what you're cooking. Set it a little lower so it cooks a little slower and stuff. So you have to heat on low so it doesn't like you know burn up and stuff, but I think yeah. this pork is ready to flip over. So go ahead and do that. Oh, nice. So how long how long are you grilling their pork chops for, Perry? So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit so this cooks a little bit faster. But you know this should probably take for a pork chop probably like ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. You know. I'll show you guys later, but I'm gonna cut it in half to see that it's really cooked. You know, the worst thing that you that you can do is undercook your food mm -hmm. because all of the dangerous stuff that's in it. Um, while these guys are cooking, I'm going to throw another piece of pork on. Again, this is all up to you, however many you want to cook. I'm a big guy. My roommates, they eat a lot too, so, you know, I want, I want to cook a lot. But, you know, if you're cooking for yourself, it's okay to throw one on, two on. Alright guys, it's been like like five minutes on the grill or on the uh, little skillet here cooking our pork chops and uh, you know if you're cooking with me more power to you so I'm gonna flip this over you know this guy's been about two minutes three minutes I get I mean if you really want to keep a timer on it flip it every every two minutes you're fine the main thing that I'm looking for right here is the juices you know when they come up clear, that's how I know that this uh, piece of meat's done. You know, all the redness is out and stuff. So that's mainly what I'm looking for. But until then, it really doesn't matter how much, how many times you cook it or how many times you flip it. So it should be fine. But well, that's it. You know, tap yourself on the back. You're cooking. You just gotta make sure nothing burns down. You know, or turn turn your burner off. It's okay. You know. So. There you go. There's not much juice coming out, so I'm going to see if this meat's actually done. This is the first piece that I put in there, so, you know, I'm just going to cut it in half. Not all the way, but you see there, you know, it's pretty white all the way through. And, um, you know, if it was like right in the middle, I would need to put it on for a lot longer. But I'm just going to put it on maybe for two minutes more. Not much, you know. That, that's pretty cooked, so... You know, if you want to if you want to stop there, go right ahead. Pieces of pork, you know, cooked, ready to eat. We're all good. Thanks for cooking with me. Thanks for watching. Tune in whenever, whenever I can make another video. I'll probably be cooking all night, every night. But, you know, I'm not a good editor, so <laughs> I'll cook when I can, you know, keep cooking, have fun with it, and, uh, watch it.